Hey guys, this is Mr. Wolfie. I'm over here with my uh, Marlin 336. It's a 3030 lever action rifle. Um, and is unloaded currently, so I can kind of play around with it. But still, the barrel, as you can see, is pointed in a safe direction, which is the wall facing outwards where nobody is possible. So, stay safe. That's the main thing, stay safe. Alright, so point is, uh, a lot of people have... I, don't, I didn't really see many videos about it, but I've seen forum posts and discussions about people um, using some sort of wrap or lining for the lever action to kind of protect your hands as you go, uh, as you work the action. So, uh, a lot of people use paracord because paracord is good for survivalist situations or if you're like going camping and uh, various things so you can get it from a lot of stores I got mine from Moore's feed store in Pontotoc it's you know just some standard stuff it's some kind of hunter green kind of color uh, and it's some pretty good stuff so I measured it out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to weave it in such a way that it makes a trick or a, a hand guard for the trigger and uh, the lever action part and then actually that can be used not only to protect your hands, but if you were to need rope, boom, there you have it. You can take it off and uh, there you have it. So, just as a little extra thing. So, the way you start is you measure out your rope, and I've had to uh, make some adjustments here. So, uh, I finally got it to where I think it's correct. So, you loop it through. Let me see if I can actually zoom in a hair. Yeah, so, you should be able to see it pretty good there. All right, so you loop it through, and you make sure that it is even at the top. So I've got it even up here at the top. So now, well, I can get my camera adjusted. Now I tie it in a knot. Make sure the knot, well, <laughs> I got the, the knot backwards, but that'll work. I can just do it that way. Uh, so make sure it's still even at the top, and it is. And then what you do is, while the knot's tied pretty good and tight, you spin it around to where it is on the inside of the lever. Okay. Now here comes the part where it begins. And this is just simple weaving. Uh, you can do this, you don't have to do this for the lever, you can do this to make bracelets and all kinds of things people use. So what you do is you slip a start, yeah, let's start this side so you can actually physically see it on the camera. So you slip this through the lever, as you can see. You take the other side and slip it down into the loop. I'm trying to do this by watching the camera, which is hard. And then you take the side that went through the lever and bring it up through the other side to where when you tie it, it forms a bit of a knot there. And you pull it good and tight. Okay. So there's that. And I I've, I've saw this uh, tutorial on a forum, so I'll, I'll link to the forum so you can actually see how it works. So you repeat the process, very careful to do it. You, well, first off, this is important. You switch sides every time. So this time I'm going through with the side that I began with, but in the other direction. So that then I slip through, bring it up, tie it tight, and it has begun to kind of form a layer there. So at that point I just sort of weave it back and forth in the pattern that we began the first time and keep the process going until we complete it. So I'll probably either fast forward this part of the video or maybe just leave it so that you can see 100% how the process works. And in a second here, actually, let me go ahead and do that. As you do it, you may want to adjust it by pushing it up a little bit, kind of get it to where it's a, a tight fit because it kind of wiggles loose here and there. So, probably could have put a little bit more length to it, it looks like, but I think, no, I think it'll be just right. I think it's going to be perfect, actually. One more good loop, I think. I 
Maybe get one more through there. Without it. Without the nylon looking bad. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. This is gonna be this is gonna be the the end of the line here. <laughs> may actually have to take that one off because it may be too close. Okay, so at that point, as you can see, get it real good and close. It's a good tight fitting. Uh, this is my African children uh, aid bracelet. Anyway, it's a nice, good, strong uh, wrapping that will protect your knuckles as you work the lever. So that way it's not constantly cutting. And, you know, it'll, it'll, it's, if you did that constantly, it's still going to bother your hands, but that's definitely better than middle on hand contact. And as I said, you have some uh, cord to work with. Now what you do here, and I'm not going to do it right here because I don't need to do it while well, I can't really see good and I don't want to mess it up and set a dang fire in the house, so I need to take this to a safe place before I do it. But you get a lighter or another fire making device, preferably a lighter, and you melt the tip in until it turns into a ball of like goop, because that is nylon, so it will melt. And you turn it into kind of a knot there, that way that way it won't come slipping through. So you actually have to maybe clip it off when it comes time to actually use the rope. So, but anyway, there's that is, and it looks real nice, and it gives you some some protection to cock your lever, and uh, you'll be doing what you got to do with whatever, whatever you want, happen to want to do with your lever action. And it works with any lever action. I mean, I just happen to have this uh, 30-30. Uh, you can do it on your 22. You can do it on your 357 Magnum, whatever you want to do, whatever brand name. It doesn't matter. The lever is basically the same, except some have more of a loop, so you're going to want to use more paracord. So, well, anyway, there's that. I hope it was at least mildly informative. Probably, you know, I'm sure people, I'm sure people have done better videos and better examples of this than me. I just thought I'd do one. Anyway, guys, peace out. This has been Mr. Wolfie. Love you guys.